So what's the hat? Okay, this is called a Liberty Cap. It's also known as a Phrygian hat. A what? Phrygian, P-H-R-Y-G-I-A-N, Phrygian. Okay. And Phrygia was a place in central Turkey, uh, which thousands of years ago, around the time of Alexander the Great, was uh, you know an empire, it had its own little country, and they wore these hats. They were taken into slavery by Alexander, brought to Italy, forced to build the Roman Republic, and then later became citizens of the Roman Republic. They were became freed slaves. And were they wearing the hat all this time? They wore these hats the whole time. And anyone who wore a Phrygian hat was considered a freed slave. Now, fast forward, George Washington used this hat to organize the Continental Army. And if you look on the seal of the U.S. Army or the U.S. Senate, you'll see this hat. The reason was is they built Liberty Poles, which was this hat on top of a large ship mast. And under those Liberty Poles, people were recruited to the Continental Army. The revolution was fought. George Washington was inaugurated president. And when he was inaugurated, there was a commemorative button. It said 1789, and it had this hat and, the, and a pole. That's it, nothing else. There's a great deal of public ignorance about that. I, I, I didn't know it either, but I suspect a lot of people don't. I would have thought it had something to do with Motley Fool. Well, <laughs> it, you know, it's like a gnome hat too, right? Or a Smurf hat. Um, it's, you see it all over the place. What you realize is that the hat actually is international and symbolizes political freedom. The France, in France, during the French Revolution, they used the hat. Uh, later, it was used during the Spanish, uh, sorry, the Cuban Revolution from Spain, and and um, you know, a little over a hundred years ago. Is there a concern that people would look at the hat and see it as some kind of theatrical attire well, as opposed to a political statement? We want people to ask why we're wearing the hats today, because you know there were reasons to wear it in the past. Why are we wearing them today? And we're wearing it today because we want a free DC, because we want to be politically equal to everyone else in the country. Um, when there was a threat to overturn the ballot initiative to legalize marijuana, we built a Liberty Pole on the National Mall and sat there for six days, locked to the pole. And we brought up a lot of this messaging that's only used by right-wing Tea Party people, and we appropriated for D.C. to try to get into their heads, to try to get into the GOP's heads, that if you guys are really going to talk about freedom, you can't keep oppressing D.C. the way you've been oppressing us. Thirteen states have this hat on their state seal or or on their flag. It's on the it's on the, the state seal of West Virginia on a musket. I mean this is this is part of our history but for some reason it, it's been lost and we're, we're bringing it back for the 21st century. And I, it was a little crude, it was kind of crude, I shouldn't have said that word, but that's life.